guys, so we are already in Primark this morning. Um, not for any particular reason, just to get out a little bit and I've already picked up a super nice dress for Regina. I'm hoping that she'll like it. Usually when it comes to this time of year she's asking for dresses so maybe this will fit the bill. We just got some really nice pieces and there's going to be a little bit of an unexpected haul so that will be a nice thing to look forward to and I think we're going to go to Waterstones now and just have a look in there. Waterstones as you can see and we're looking for well looking at specifically some figures um because we've really taken to this anime show that we recently started watching called uh Jujutsu Kaisen and um yeah that's currently what I'm trying to look for so I found some of them um they haven't got many characters from the show but he's like the main main character and of course they have the bad guy but not the guy that Andrew really likes <laughs> and to be fair I like him too so so what do you think we're gonna go with if you like the cutie one I like Is he, yeah I think one. like there's only a couple of those left so if you were gonna get one I think now would be a good time No. We might have to have a look online or something. Because that'll be a much better selection than <clears throat> this. This is hilarious. Skull face. About an actual skull. <laughs> He's a book seller, dog. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Look, there's Dodge. <laughs> So whilst I'm in here, I'm also going to be having a look to get something for my dad for Father's Day because I haven't got anything and it is coming up, although I have no clue what to get. Um, I was then sending him coffee from m and and the coffees that I like for the longest time and then my little brother told me that, well, I say little bit, he's like 20 something, he told me that my dad never uses it and it's all in the damn cupboard. <laughs> So I'm not going to be sending any more coffee. That is us back in. I can't seem to find my small phone stand just now, so I apologise if the video is going. This part of the video is going to be like oh, all over the place. I'm going to have a look for it as soon as I've done this. <laughs> um, I picked up these Yo Sushi's, the vegan selection ones, because. 274 is an absolute steal on my glory and it's got today's date on it so I got the three that they had I'm probably gonna have two I'll keep one for Reg as an after-school little snackaroo <laughs> but I ended up going with this um Junji O book and I'll go through it when I've actually got you know, another hand. But yeah, this is the book that I decided to go with. It's um, a collection of horror stories. Um, I'm pretty sure I've probably spoken about 
the other books that I've bought um, in a previous vlog. Um, I think, you know what, I think I'm going to have to go and put the phone in an actual stand to do this because it's going to annoy the heck out of me, so one moment. Okay, much better. <laughs> now I've actually got two hands free. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, this is the book that I went with. Um, there was another one that I wanted that I don't believe I've heard of before called Homunculus, um, which also seemed to be in the horrorish kind of genre in a similar vein to this maybe I'm not sure I'm gonna have a look on Amazon but yeah this the cover of this book really caught my attention and I've got a little bit of a collection going on with these books now <laughs> um, on the way back because we walked the entire way um, down to the high street and then all the way back home so my step count is gonna be looking super good today um, I got these candy kittens. I really like this candy. There's another one that's got like, I think it's like um, pea signs and stuff in it. So I'm looking forward to giving this one a try. I got this naked bar. It's apple and cinnamon to try. I think I've had this in the blueberry flavor before, but not any other flavors. To the best of my knowledge that I can remember. <laughs> On the walk home I had this cafe latte cappuccino. It was super nice actually and tasted really similar to um, I want to say the Starbucks mocha that you get in the small glass bottle. It tasted really similar to that. It had some chocolatey undertone. Um, so the things that I bought for Regina from Primark is this pyjama set because she doesn't have that much in the way of light pyjamas. She's got a lot of fluffy, you know, wintery kinds of pyjamas. Um, but nothing really light so I'm hoping that she'll like these I don't know for certain that she will I'm hoping that she does I think they're nice it was a little bit of a toss up between these ones or a black set those are the ones that won <laughs> and as I showed before I got her this really cute strawberry dress I'm hoping that she likes it I'm also hoping that it's not gonna be um too low down um because with some of the dresses that I've bought for her in the past um from the lady section um can tend to run quite low and yeah, I don't want that for her, so fingers crossed. <laughs> the next item I got is this night dress. Now, I did buy it for me with the intention of me having it. I'm going to try it on and see how it fits and how I feel in it. If I like it, then I'll keep it. But if not, um, I might pass it on to Regina. We also picked up some hair clips in these nice, almost pastel-y kind of colours. Some pants for me. Um, more pants. Sets of three. The cute bow print. This nice kind of sheer pink and a black set. Underwear for Regina because we're always needing underwear. I don't know what happens to it, but yeah. <laughs> um, these Brazilian pants just for everyday kind of wear. 
I got Regina some flip flops because I'm sick to death of seeing her walk around without anything on her feet and ugh, it's just it weirds me out it's a little bit gross <laughs> so I'm hoping that she'll wear those Jagger usually likes to wear um flip-flops in the summer and he's also got a pair of crocs that his grandmother bought for him um so yeah I can definitely see us transitioning into wearing flip-flops and the like with the warmer weather finally hitting it's supposed to be really nice this weekend at like uh 19 ish or so so yeah things are looking really nice on the weather front <laughs> so let's give this naked apple and cinnamon bar a little bit of a taste test I'm a little bit iffy with cinnamon um if I'm perfectly honest unless it's um in the form of some kind of pastry or bun. <laughs> it's really nice. The cinnamon is really subtle. Um, I don't know if you could see that or no, but it says dried fruit and peanut bar with oats, seeds and natural flavoring. Yeah, it's super duper pleasant. that's what it looks like it's just um you know a solid a solid bar that's been segmented into pieces like so so you can break it off i suppose maybe have a little bit now maybe have a little bit later maybe eat the whole thing now and leave none for later <laughs> so for lunch slash maybe dinner um i'm gonna be having the two sushis that i bought earlier um it's been a little while since i've had anything substantial to eat i did have um a cinnamon bun from tesco's and i also had i don't know some Doritos I don't know how much of the bag I had it wasn't the full bag it I don't think it was even half but yeah let's say maybe a couple of single size worth um which isn't great but um yeah I should have maybe eaten something a little bit earlier something more substantial then and being sensible but Andrew and I have just been watching the basketball and um yeah he's got problems right now because his friend in the u.s <laughs> who he talks to on his podcast his team the mavs they are literally going to go up against andrew's team which is celtics and his friend is already very touchy about it <laughs> we'll see what happens with that <laughs> £2.74 for these sushis is absolutely the deal of the day. I think if I want sushi in future, in future, I should definitely be going down and seeing if they've got any reduced myself because this tastes absolutely perfect. Um, it had today's date on it, which is obviously why it was being sold off, but it, it tastes absolutely fine. If you're a sushi lover like me, let me know in the comments below what your favourite sushi is. For me, I really love onigiri, but it's it's very difficult to find here. So I would probably say the regular maki, and oh, I recently found out what the actual name for this is, but now I can't remember. But <laughs> these like little tofu pockets are definitely up there also. The quality of this sushi is amazing. 
it doesn't have the same hard like graininess to it that you can sometimes find with um you know regular supermarket sushi it doesn't have that at all it literally tastes like it was made very very recently <laughs> Today for dinner, I'm not having a dinner <laughs> per se. I'm just having a couple of croissants because, well, my time's nearly up, really. Quick what? And I can't really be bothered to make something proper, so we're just going to have a couple of these. What do you mean by your time was almost up? Like, I don't want to eat something, like, heavy. Oh, thank God. After I thought you meant something doctor than that. What? <laughs> my time is up. I'm Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> you joker. Oh, that over a croissant. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Raj. <laughs> no, nothing quite as dramatic as that. <laughs> okay, can I show them my pajamas before you went to the, the vlog? Oh, Regina's wearing her pajamas if you'd like to see them. <laughs> Come model them a little bit, babes. Mm hmm Do I like turn around and stuff? Yeah, turn around, give them a little Yeah. <laughs> she likes them. They they had like other styles, um actually other colours. But I like this one the most. They had black, they had a pink, just plain pink, and pink on white stripes. Uh, I thought Raj would like the cotton candy one the most. So that's what she's got. Today I received my Simply Be haul. Um, I'm not going to be doing the haul right now just because it's gotten too late um, in the evening for me and honestly I just want to chill out. But I do want to go over the metallic, god metallic shirt that I promised that I would show once I had gotten the skin coloured ish bra. Um, let me show it to you. So, this is it. Um, it's by Wonder Bra. I haven't had anything from Wonder Bra in a long, long time since Regina, since before Regina was born, is what I was gonna say. Um, what are we doing? Yeah, so I got this in size 40D, and there you go, there's the tag. Um, this is completely strapless. Um, designed to be that way. I didn't get any additional straps or anything like that with it because honestly I was just intending just to wear it like a crop top underneath that specific shirt and maybe this one. Um, I was trying on a different top um, not so long ago. I'll also go over that as well but I forgot <laughs> I forgot to put my well actually I didn't I didn't really forget forget I just I was just like oh fudge it I'll put my see-through shirt on over just my bra and actually it looks completely fine um let me tilt down just a little bit so you can have a look see yeah I mean <laughs> It's not necessarily like I would go out like this, but definitely at home when it's when it's going to get hot, I'm going to start stripping off. <laughs> so I'm going to switch into this with the metallic shirt and we can have a look at it together because I haven't actually put this on yet. So I just wanted to quickly show this bra as a contrast to the black one that I was wearing. Um, it's, it's difficult to say. I mean, when I have the shirt closed, for me, it looks like there's kind of a little bit of a shelf, if you will, if that makes sense. Um, 
but the size is <laughs> is really good um i don't i mean i usually am a d cup um so i don't know I feel like maybe if this did have straps then it would have some real big boosting but if you're intending just to obviously wear it for its purpose which is is as a strapless bra for under a strapless top or whatnot um, I feel like you would get some real good support um, I'll show you the inside once I've changed into the other shirt um because there is there's like um it's difficult to say but like a, a slight padding underneath to like squeeze <laughs> the bus so it's it's giving you the best um you know of what you've got and make it look the best um but yeah I really like it just doing a little side shot so you have an idea of what it's going to look like from a profile point of view. Um, just to give you all aspects of what it looks like. Um, I will put the codes and names of everything right here. <laughs> I obviously wanted to just show all the aspects and the diverse way that you could potentially wear this. I'm really happy with it. I'm gonna change into the other shirt now. <laughs> okay, so for me, this top looks so much better um, in contrast with the white bra that I was wearing. Now that I can't see that, <laughs> I like it actually a lot more. I did like it initially. It's not that I didn't. I just that, you know, I thought that I would um, much prefer it with a skin toned bra and it's a lot less noticeable. And I just, I like it. It's fun. Um, I'll give you just a little bit of a downward shot so you can see. So yeah, whilst this specific bra um, was a little bit on the steep side for me personally, it was a lot. I was I was umming and ahhing about it, but I, I'm glad that I took the plunge and I can definitely see myself wearing um, this bra with other shirts now. Um, yeah, just because it, it looks so nice underneath this specific colour. Um, but yeah, I could definitely use it for other tops and shirts and maybe even a vest top. I don't know. I'm going to play around with it and see what it looks like. I've never had a nude coloured <laughs> bra before, so this is new to me. But yeah, I actually really like this shirt so much better now that it's less noticeable that I do actually have a bra underneath. What I was trying to explain about the padding, you can probably, yeah, look, this strangely shaped padding. I don't know why it's like that, but one of my favourite features about this bra is all these little dots have a very, very slight, it is very, very slight, but a sticky kind of holding effect so this is not going to fall down it's not gonna give you a <laughs> epic wardrobe malfunction not now obviously but sometime in the near future i can definitely see myself looking for other bras from wonder bra just because this one is so comfortable and nice to wear it just feels nice on like i've had probably like a handful of strapless bras in the past a long time ago but they always felt super uncomfortable to me and they were always falling down, which is why I just became so disillusioned with the whole <laughs> strapless bra thing. But this for me is absolutely 10 out of 10. 
and now I'm gonna go and get into some pajamas and then take my makeup off because I am feeling quite drained right about now. Uh, it's all the steps I've done today has knackered me out a little bit so that's where I'm going to next. Well this is annoying. I cannot find my other phone stand anywhere. So I'm gonna have to hold it until I do. I have a suspicion of where it is but nothing's confirmed as of yet. <laughs> I have no clue. Um, I'm gonna have to dig up all the kids coats and hope fingers crossed it's there I don't know how I've done this I don't know how it is that I've lost it it's not super small and it's not really that inconspicuous so where it is is an actual mystery right now I'm gonna get on that tomorrow though kind of be dealing with that today <laughs> I have literally just been watching YouTube and doing some face stuff and I, even as I'm looking at my screen I shouldn't be like doing that. <laughs> it's not good for the wrinkles. Anywho, uh, let's end this vlog here because I want to start a new one tomorrow. I don't know how long this video is going to run for um, with some, having some additional bits added in already. So let's just start fresh tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found something of enjoyment from this vlog. Let me know what you think as always. And I hope to see you again here very, very soon.